Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be diving into the fascinating world of bacterial transformation, which is a crucial technique and procedure for genetic engineering and cloning. So prepare yourself to unlock the secret of genetic engineering and explore its incredible application. Let's get started. As you know, bacterial transformation is a crucial technique in a molecular biology that allows scientists to introduce foreign DNA into bacterial cells, altering their genetic makeup. This process involves the uptake and incorporation of external DNA, resulting in the production of genetically modified organisms. Now let's delve into the definition and explanation of bacterial transformation. So in a precise way, bacterial transformation is a process by which bacteria take up and incorporate foreign DNA molecules such as plasmid. This enables the bacteria to express new trait or produce specific protein encoded by the introduced DNA. As a part of cloning, it's like giving the bacteria a brand new set of instructions to follow. To better understand bacterial transformation, let's break down the key player involved. First, we have the bacterial cell, typically E. coli, known for their remarkable ability to uptake foreign DNA. Then we have the DNA molecule of interest, often carried on a circular piece of genetic material called as plasmid. The transformation process begins by creating a small pores on the bacterial cell membrane. These pores can be induced using various techniques such as heat shock or chemical treatment. Once the pores are open, the bacterial cells are exposed to the foreign DNA and some of them take up the DNA molecule. Now here comes the interesting part. Once the foreign DNA is inside the bacterial cell, it integrates into the host genome or exists independently as a plasmid. The transformed bacteria can then express the new gene encoded by the foreign DNA, leading to the production of protein with specific function. This process allows scientists to manipulate bacteria and harnesses their capability for various applications. Now that we understand the basic of bacterial transformation, let's explore its exciting application. This technique has revolutionized the field of biotechnology, enabling us to achieve incredible scope that were once mere dream. So the first application is in the area of biopharmaceutical production. Bacterial transformation is extensively used to produce valuable therapeutic proteins such as insulin, growth hormone and vaccines. By introducing the gene encoding these protein into bacteria, we can create biofactories that churn out large quantities of these substances. The another application is in the area of genetic research and R&D. Bacteria transformation serve as a fundamental tool in genetic research, allowing scientists to study gene function and regulation. By introducing mutated gene into bacteria, researchers can observe the effect of specific genetic change and gain insight into their impact on cellular processes. Additionally, it has application in environmental cleanup. Bacterial transformation has shown promises in environmental bioremediation, where the bacteria are engineered to degrade the toxic pollutant. By introducing genes responsible for pollutant degradation into bacteria, we can enhance their ability to clean up contaminated sites. Now let's walk through a step-by-step -step procedure of bacterial transformation. Using the example of introducing GFP gene, that is green fluorescent protein, which is commonly used in biotech labs. So how to introduce GFP gene into E. coli? So the number one step is preparation of material. Gather the important material including sterile petri dishes, growth media, antibiotic selection marker and the GFP gene containing plasmid. The second step is culturing the bacterial cells. Start with the culture of E. coli cell and grow them in the suitable growth media until they reach the desired density. The next step is DNA extraction. Extract the GFP gene from the donor organism or obtain it from the commercially available source. The next step is transformation setup. Create a heat shock setup by placing the extracted GFP gene and the competent E. coli cell on the eyes. For heat shock, incubate the mixture of E. coli cell and GFP gene at 42 degrees Celsius for short period, usually for 90 seconds, and then quickly transfer it back to the eyes for 5 to 10 minutes. 
and then the recovery steps come. Add a recovery media to the mixture and allow the cell to recover from the heat shock. After that, selection and incubation is required. Plate the transformed cell onto petri dishes containing growth media supplemented with the antibiotic that select for the cells carrying the GFP gene. And finally, the incubation and observation. Incubate the plate overnight and observe the growth of bacteria colonies the next morning. The transformed cell will exhibit a green fluorescent glow under the UV light due to the expression of GFP gene. And there you have it, bacterial transformation, a powerful tool in genetic engineering and biotech, which offers a gateway to the world of possibilities. From biopharmaceutical production to the environmental cleanup, this technique continues to shape up the landscape of biotechnology Keep exploring and join us next time in our upcoming video for more exciting discovery. If you have liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Thank you.